Hi guys, Tony here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, just a very, very quick video here. Uh, just showcasing, sadly, a bug I've been experiencing. And it's a very annoying bug, to say the least. Um, on an AMD GPU, it's a Vega 64. Um, and it seems to be linked directly to the latest drivers that have come out. So we're talking about 19.2.1, 19.2.2, and 19.2.3. Uh, and what happens is... When running any 3D application uh, or any benchmarking, anything you want, um, your core and your memory will drop significantly. It will completely tank. Um, you know, it'll be running along fine, 1700 megahertz, whatever, 1650, um, and it will drop. They will both drop at exactly the same time. Interestingly enough as well, when they do the uh, activity lights on the actual card, um, you know, the eight uh, LEDs on the side, that drops to one lit light as well at the same time as the memory and the core um, but interestingly enough the now I'm saying that this green activity line so when I'm running the benchmark you'll see it will remain at a constant 99% yet strangely enough the lights on the GPU uh, don't mirror that you know it will drop to one and then it will go back up to eight lit now I always thought those were activity lights so that's a little bit strange somebody please correct me if i'm wrong i might have mis uh, misunderstood that um now i just will say one thing um i am running a custom profile here these might appear to be quite high to some people um these are actually quite moderate uh, overclocks for my system uh, the card is um custom water cooled it is in a custom loop sorry uh it's been like that since day one it was a day one gpu purchase uh, like i said it's been it's been in this loop uh, ever since. It's been completely fine on every driver before these latest three. Um, this never, never happened before. It's been an amazing card. Um, I, I've got no nothing bad about the card at all. It's a blinking brilliant card at 1440p with a FreeSync monitor. It is absolutely golden. But there just appears to be something which is causing a confliction with the latest drivers on my system. Um, I have seen one other person, actually, now I've said that, there's one other person I've seen with this same issue. Um, so it's not a widespread issue, but it is definitely in there. And it's got to be something in these latest drivers. Uh, I've updated all my motherboard drivers, uh, you know, sound, chipset, um, system drivers, everything I've got on my system is up to date. Windows is all up to date. Um, this bug, interestingly, it doesn't matter what I use here as a setting, so I can completely underclock these, I can change these values, I can even run Turbo Balanced or Power Saver, and this bug will happen regardless. So it, it really does not matter uh, what I run here. So let's just get into um, to a video here, I'll just run a benchmark here. Um, We'll just run a custom. I'll leave it in window mode. I am going to be running a hardware info overlay top left. So you will see that. So you will see my cores, my clocks, my, you know, all the temperatures. Uh, and also keep an eye on this one here. Let me just reset this so you can see a clear bar there. So here's the current speed of the GPU. Uh, for some reason, my overlay's not come up. Oh, there it is. There's the overlay. So although I've got the card set to 1700 and 1100 generally vega will not hit those scores it'll be a little bit down so um about 1750 17 that's uh, sorry 1650 1660 and 1100 is normal is flat out so every now and again you'll just see it plummet to the ground um there you go it's just done it there and that was right at the end of the test typically but you just saw it and there's Oh, that's hard to say because that was the end of the test there, but you, you're more than likely going to see it again in a minute. I mean, I've been talking, so I've not really looked at it that closely, uh, but it will happen. Um, so let's just keep an eye on it up here. So there's the memory dropped. So there's the... Right, so that's maxed out on both. So let's wait for it. There it goes. Bang. And then, the, the yeah. So I'm running eight lights on the card at the minute. It's just dropped to one light. Now it's back up to eight lights. Now it's just gone down to one light. Back up to eight lights, down to one light, back up to eight lights. So, it, it, you know, it does that every five seconds or so. And you can see it there. It's just every time there's a drop, it's the core and the memory. Every drop, every time. Um, 
So yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Like I said, the green light remains constant. Obviously, the green uh, sorry, the green line has dropped there, but that was in between the tests. But every time the test is running, that stays at 99%. Um, yeah, you know, there's the memory drop, memory drop. There's a core drop there, look. I mean, it, it's a bit hard. It's a bit erratic. It's not going to not show anything now because this is a CPU test. Um, but yeah, it's incredibly frustrating. Um, no idea why it does it. I've put in a ticket or two with AMD. I'm going to put in another one at shortly. Hopefully somebody can find this bug and get rid of it because, you know, each time I've seen a new driver up on there you know to download to update you know update the driver uh, i've tried it but i've not been too um enthusiastic that it's going to fix it because this has been going ongoing now since the 19.2.1 uh, so i'm gonna have to roll back yet again to 19.1.2 and it will be absolutely fine and every driver before that has been absolutely fine so it's definitely something with the last three drivers that causes this issue um, <clears throat> don't know what else to say. I've probably waffled on way too much, but yeah, it's very frustrating. So hopefully it can be fixed at some point. Um, I've tried all the normal things, you know, DDU after every uninstall. I've done an AMD, you know, a clean install from the driver multiple times, you know, half a dozen times on each driver. I've tried to reinstall, uninstall, reinstall, uninstall, whatever. Does not fix it. Um, I've also, you know, disabled my overlays, antivirus, everything like that to see if any of those were causing any issues. Nope, none of that causes the issue. It's just it's just there as a driver um, bug, I think. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully it gets fixed in the next driver release. Touch wood, um, because obviously, you know, these drivers get optimized for the latest games. So I'm going to have to go back to an older driver again. So thanks for listening, guys. Um, and I've rabbited on. I don't generally talk too much in my videos. I'm not that much of a great talker. But uh, thanks for listening and have a good day. See you later.